I don't know if you saw, but the internet mm. really wants you to play Marvel's Moon Knight. Have you I seen have this? I have heard this. I, I, yes, I have heard this. I don't understand what a Moon Knight is. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, you're in. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I would love to. It's so to. funny when you ask people because they're like, yeah, but like, what do I do about this? Like, it's kind of crazy. I feel like I, every single time, I mean, I, I'm not very good at social media. I find it quite overwhelming. Um, but every single time I kind of open Instagram, it's like, Moon Knight! And I'm like, this is so great and thank you, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, no one's called me, but um, yeah, I would definitely, I would love to be a Marvel superhero. It's, that would be a dream. Yeah, it's funny now though, because I think fan casting works more than ever. Do you think? I do. All right, so tell all of, all of your viewers tell them. to go and stand outside Marvel headquarters. Do it! There you are. You're the invisible man. I am, but you can see me. I can see you. It's strange, right? Yeah. I mean, when you signed on for this movie, because Universal's like classic monster movies, when did you know this was gonna be like a pretty different take on the invisible man? There's no bandages. No, I mean, do you know what's really interesting? I read the script and it was called The Invisible Man and because the script is so original and Lee's kind of taken this property into such a different, uh, uh, it's such uh, done a different road. I um, I hadn't put two and two together that it was part of the um, sort of the Universal Monsters universe, um, and so it wasn't until it was announced and that that I was playing him that um, I just kept on getting these sort of messages from people being like, "Oh my God, this is such a huge kind of deal." So it's um, it's it's great. I think Lee has written. Such a fascinating story, and, and the fact that he centered it, you know, the core of the story is about domestic abuse and about how much we believe women in society when they're asking for help. So it was, um, it was, it was amazing, really, yeah. I'm so glad you said that, because after I watched it, I was like, yes, it was scary and creepy and all those things, but I walked out being like, anybody who's ever been like manipulated is yeah. like, oof. Like kind of a tough watch. Yeah, I mean, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I do, that was kind of what we wanted with the movie, you know. We want it to be fun and it is fun and it's scary and it's creepy and entertaining and all of that. But but the core of what the movie's talking about, you know, we, we wanted that to kind of last with people and we wanted, you know, for anyone watching it, you know, if they just go, oh, Someone was telling me the other day about their boyfriend that he sort of said something, and it, we need to keep on kind of raising these, this, you know, keep on pushing this message to people that this is not okay. And yeah. Lizzie and I spoke about it a lot when we were building the relationship um, for Adrian and Cecilia, you know, about how she probably had tried to leave him before, and um, how people would say to her, "Oh, but you live in you have, you live in such a nice house, or you have such nice clothes, like." I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure, and he's so lovely and like charming, and you know, it's it's. I think Lee has done a really good job at highlighting these sort of narcissists that we all come across in in our lives. Your mother, she was not crazy. Neither was your sister. Neither is your brother. Neither are you. It's that house. Are you doing the the season two, yeah, I'm the Blind Man? At the moment. So you guys are filming now? We're filming now, yeah. Well, I go you... back I go back to Vancouver tonight. Okay, so you're in two different like brains right Honestly, now. Honestly, I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Where am I? What are we doing? <laughs> um, well what can you tease about your character and kind of what this <coughs> how this is similar or different from It's very, very different. So this season's called The Haunting of Blind Manor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will get in so much trouble if I tell you probably anything. I can tell My you. I, I said it's fine. Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. When I talked to him, it actually, he was like, "Yeah, I'll yeah, say anything. tell it all." Yeah. Um, it's it's really really good. And I think that, again, it's where Mike is very, very clever, that he wrote such a solid season one of, of, of Hill House. And I, we, I think all of us, you know, Victoria and I, Victoria Pedretti, who, was, who played my twin on season one, we're both back for, for season two, and we're playing entirely different characters. And um, we, I think we were all a bit anxious of, with a show that had been that successful for Netflix and how, what they were gonna do with the mm -hmm. second one. And it is, so brilliant what he's done with it. And it's a complete departure from Hill House, which I think is is right. And I think an audience is, is really gonna enjoy it. 
Yeah. Speaking of Victoria, did you watch You season two? I haven't yet. She's a creep in it. I know. <laughs> I know. She was telling me. Oh, it's crazy because it's sort of. She. She. I watched an episode with her back in October because I sent her the links, and so I watched a bit of it, but I hadn't watched season one yet, and um, so I need to go watch back and watch season one, and then watch season two. But it's crazy. I mean, how much people love that show, and it, she's she's just phenomenal. I think she's such a great, great. I mean, human, but she's such a great actor as well.